kolisire ya woyo yala Baba Ma was born and still lives up in northern Senegal near the Sahara Desert in the small ancient town of Podor for centuries a meeting place for different African cultures This is why you see all the Af West African names in here talking about all the ethnic groups in West Africa and you can understand with this fact the meeting of different kind of cultures different kind type of music of instruments of music uh, at the north is Mauritania and uh, people used to go from uh, the Maghreb to come here and to buy salt or to buy other things from the black uh, communities and for Podor was the first step it was like an oasis when you cross the desert it was very interesting for me to grow up here because i was uh, young very curious i was uh, touching music a little bit singing uh, discovering west african music and it was like a big comfort conservatory for me because uh, i can go from an area to another area and neighbor to another neighbor to listen to different type of music I know very well this mosque because this is where my father used to come in the morning or in the afternoon to call people to come to pray. And I remember that uh, a lot of people couldn't wait to hear his voice. And that's my chance because he gave me the, his spirituality and at the same time also he gave me uh that uh, love of to hear your voice loud singing to a lot of people and because when he was singing he knew that his the the the, the microphone going to spread his voice all over these places and people going can hear his voice so well from everywhere in this uh, city And I was dreaming when I was young I was dreaming to saying to myself one day I'm going to be a singer like my dad He achieved far more and became the first international superstar of the Fulani people singing in the local language Pula So this is the street of Podor, you know. And we're going to go to my family house. This is where I was born. I grew up. And uh, you're going to see my whole family. Uh, my mom is not living anymore, but you can see my aunt, my brothers, my sisters, my nephews, my nieces. Everyone from the family lives here. Except the one who are uh, outside of the continent in France and England. my brothers and sisters na yende fay ya america ma ma yende fay ne yi fa ta wa ah sambe ya ne ne ko nan ma hen So this is my aunt. All the people you see are related to me in the family. She's my sister. That's the wife of my brother. And my other brothers and uh, nephews, everyone from the family is here. 
This is the place I started singing. I was a young boy here, going to school, coming back, but I, I did like to sing and to every kind of ceremony that happened here at the corner of the street, I go and I sing and dance. People just would say it's just uh, because he's, he's young. They never expected that I'm going to take it like a profession, like uh, a work to do seriously in the, in the future. <laughs> It was here that he first planned to bring the local Fulani music to a far wider audience and to explore the links between African and Western styles. I was listening to the radios and I was hearing a lot of music coming from America, from Europe, or maybe from other countries in Africa, but not so much uh, the music for the Flannies, from the Flannies that I know and I really like. And I, at the same time, I see a lot of connection between the things that I know when I was young and the things I was hearing at the radio, like blues, like jazz music, like uh, reggae music, like and Cuban music. And uh, I say I have to do something, I'm a singer. Now he rehearses his band at home just a few hundred yards from where he was born. <laughs> 